After spending his entire career playing safe, down-to-earth roles. Standing here with one arm and one testicle! How'd it get burned? I, how'd it get burned? How'd it get burned? Screaming at the door! Screaming at the door! National Treasure is the movie where Nicolas Cage was finally able to get a little crazy. I'm gonna kidnap the President of the United States. All right, let's tone it down a bit. I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. There we go. It starts out with Nicolas Cage and Sean Bean hunting down some treasure in the Arctic. Somehow, there's a lost ship out there. The hydrothermic properties produce hurricane force ice storms that cause the ocean to freeze, resulting in a migrating landmass. That sounds stupid, but f it, it's a Nicolas Cage movie, so I'm all in. Okay, let's go. They discover there's no treasure on the ship, only a clue whose next step involves the Declaration of Independence. So Sean Bean decides he's going to steal it. We could borrow it. Steal it? I don't think so. So to make sure nobody steals the Declaration of Independence. I'm gonna steal it. I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. Oh, Nicolas Cage, we don't deserve you. Anyways, since stealing the Declaration of Independence is probably the least crazy thing Nicolas Cage does on any given day. He pulls it off, no problem. Sean Bean can't believe it, so he has his henchmen shoot at Cage to see if he's even human. He's not. Now he's on his way out when this lady wants an autograph or something and ends up getting herself kidnapped. Which somehow was all a part of his master plan. It's all right. This is what we need. So he tells her he's done with her and she can f off now. But she's only human and he's Nicolas Cage. So I'm going. Next stop is Cage's dad, played by professional film or television actor, John Voight. <laughs> who helps them squirt lemons on the Declaration of Independence before blow drying it. Will somebody please explain to me what- Just go with it. They then come up with a genius plan to throw off the FBI. Gonna untie me? He says they taped him to the chair so that... Actually, I have no idea why they did this. He didn't commit any crimes. All he did was let Nicolas Cage take his car. He could have just said, my son asked to borrow my car and I didn't think to ask him if he had just stolen the Declaration of Independence. Although if you're Nicolas Cage's dad, you probably should. So they uncover more clues and do this some more. Uh, the vision to see the treasured past must refer to a way to read the map. Where the timely shadow crosses in front of the Liberty Bell. On the back of a hundred dollar bill is an etching of Independence Hall. The artist was actually a friend of Benjamin Franklin's. Nobody gives a shit. Anyways, Sean Bean is a likable guy and outside of trying to kill Nicolas Cage, he actually seems pretty cool. But all that changes when you see what he does here. That's right, he uses Yahoo Search. What kind of sick son of a bitch uses Yahoo Search? You either use Google, or if you want to be different, you use Bing, or if you want to be mysterious and edgy, you use DuckDuckGo. You do not use Yahoo. The worst part of all of this is that the one movie where he does an unforgivable act where he deserves to die is somehow 
the only movie he doesn't die in. <laughs> Talk about some bulls. <laughs> I'm getting worked up, so let's just move on. <laughs> so, they figure out there will be a shadow of an X that will mark a specific spot at a specific time. 222. The movie tries to be smart. We missed it. No, we didn't. Daylight savings wasn't established until World War I. But ends up being stupid because shadows change throughout the seasons. But whatever, he breaks a brick and finds these. Some kind of ocular device. Come on, man. There are three glasses taped together. Benjamin Franklin invented something like these. Don't act like it's the first f***ing steam engine. <sighs> what? The last time this was here, it was being signed. Focus, Cage. So they see Sean Bean and decide they need to split up. But we don't want them to have the declaration or the glasses. Come on, I'm pretty sure you can manage without those f***ing glasses. But we especially don't want them to have them both together. Anyways, this couldn't go any worse. Sean Bean gets the Declaration of Independence and Nicolas Cage gets arrested with those space age glasses. Luckily, while being interrogated, Sean Bean calls and makes it clear that he's behind everything. I told you from the start, I only wanted to borrow it. He does this even though he knows the FBI is listening. And tell the FBI agents listening in on this call, then you've come alone. Okay, the FBI sets up a plan, but they get Nicholas caged instead. Turns out she and Sean Bean teamed up to get him out of custody. Hello, Ben. Welcome to New Jersey. Bean then double crosses them and kidnaps Nicholas Cage's dad. Which is still Nowhere near as bad as the fact that he uses Yahoo. Anyways, they solve more puzzles, break some rocks, climb through tunnels, light some shit on fire, Go down a bunch of stairs. This idiot falls to his death for some reason. <laughs> then finally, they make it to the end and find out the treasure isn't there and is actually in Boston. The old North Church in Boston where Thomas Newton hung a lantern in the steeple. So Sean Bean leaves them all there to die. No! There's no other way out! Come back! But it turns out that was a lie and the treasure actually is there behind this wall. Either way, we're gonna die. Really, after all that, the final puzzle was to just push a button. Okay. But turns out the treasure was moved a long time ago and really isn't there. Looks like someone got here first. May have even been gone before Charles Carroll told the story of Tom Skates. But that's also a f***ing lie. And there's another door. And the treasure really is there. But honestly, by this point, you don't even give a shit anymore. Plus, we all know that's not the national treasure. The national treasure is you, Mr. Cage. You're a national treasure, and if anyone disagrees with me, then go f*** yourself. <laughs> <laughs>